start a design, I start with a single idea and try to really stretch it out and go for it pretty hard and then reel it in from that concept. Through the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth prototypes, we're slightly tweaking edges, shaping volume, working on your posture for your knees, for comfort. Um, all of those things come into play. And the other thing that you've got to really look at in prototyping is we can't just prototype on the green, which we did though, huge extents. We paddled it all the way from low, low water to massive water levels, uh, basically six inches to 25 inches we tested it out. We paddled the Chattooga at mega high water, Linville Gorge, Ravens Fork, Chiowa, Yellow Creek. I mean, the great thing we had going on during this winter when we were testing all these prototypes is that the southeast went off. So the, the hole on this boat, you can see it's got some miles on it. Um, you can see big flat open surface with a chamfered edge just to give it a little bit of easy use. That allows the water to skip past um, a hard chine um, and across that flat surface without catching. You can also see how the sidewall is also rolled into it really heavily and that also allows the water to skip past the harder edge and not catch in, those, in cross currents or um, dropping off into the edge of a hole or a curler. Um, but you can see big flat open surface all the way out the stern. The stern rocker is um, dropped down a little bit so that it's not, uh, you, you know, it doesn't bog down real badly when you're going fast. It'll help you really push forward with a lot of speed. The stern deck of the stomper, you can see it's, it's well up above the cockpit, which gives it a huge crown, a giant amount of volume so that you don't have to worry about a lot of water sitting on top of it. Um, and that just helps it shed off of there very easily. The sides are rounded hard so that water can't land on it and make it a trippy, trippy edge. So main thing, maximize volume, maximize curve and shedding of water. And in the bow, you can see really similar, but an even harder crown, which is gonna protect you from uh, pinning or folding situations um, up in the front where your legs are and, and give you a really strong shape that wants to come up through the surface of the water when you're, when you're coming up or, or melting a drop. Um, it'll come up really predictably and, and then stay up on the surface. The other thing we got a lot of feedback on was the seating. Um, this new setup that we have that'll actually go in boats across the board has a lower center of gravity for your seating position. Um, it also has a big change in it then the access in the back of the boat is totally made a lot easier. Just by popping these Velcros, now the back band can just slip up out of the way. You've got full access to the back of the boat. The other, cha other change we did in the front of the seating area is um, added an extra storage area. Um, we've got our standard hideaway bottle holder and then we've added a tower on the front of the wall that allows you to store a rope or another water bottle with another attachment point. So you can clip in your rope and have it for quick and easy access. When you take a look at the two stompers, um, main thing you'll see in the differences between the 80 and 90 is um, four inches difference in length. So the 80 is 8.2, the 90 is 8 foot 6. Um, the widths are different by about three quarters of an inch. The volumes obviously are 80 and 90 gallons. Um, and then the deck heights are different by three quarters of an inch. Um, basically the biscuit. Biscuit. <laughs> so we've had a really good time with the whole process of prototyping the stompers. Um, in fact, it's uh, we're, we're all pretty fired up trying this new style of creek boat. Coming from the Hefe, we got a round hauler, now we got a flat hauler, we got the best of both worlds. Um, the prototypes have kind of been fought over by all the team guys. In fact, Adrian's taken off with one of them, headed to California, I'm a little upset about that. Uh, but we got a few more around and then what we need from you guys is to get out to your dealer, ask them to order some demos so you can try them out, give us some feedback, and uh, join us on the Facebook page and we can chat up with the Stompers and any other you know, things that you're checking out that are ours. Take it easy. Yeah,